Hey, so I decided I'm gonna drive down to Miami for a couple days. Figured I'd stop off at some of the rooms I haven't been to in a while. We just pulled up to the card house in Port St. Lucie. I haven't been here since opening weekend. Um, this used to be the old Fort Pierce room and then they moved over here. So I'm anxious to see how they uh, changed it since opening weekend, which was earlier this year. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to have a little little poker weekend or poker a couple days and uh, try to catch up on some of the rooms I haven't been to in a while. So wish me luck. All right, played about 53 minutes at the uh, Port St. Lucie card house. Came out positive two, 2.30, I think, in about an hour. It could have been such a good session. Oh my God, I am so mad at myself for folding certain things. But my position, I, I kind of had to, that table was so loose. But I, I probably should have profit like six, 700 easy if I would have just made my gut feeling calls but position kind of stopped me from doing that um there was only two tables going one one two and one two five game i was playing at the one two game but um they were playing so loose every other hand was all in so i i, I should have just made some more calls but uh, anyway a win's a win so i take it so one for one so far on the trip Alright, so we just made the hour drive from Port St. Lucie to the uh, West Palm Beach Kennel Club. I've only been here like three or four times. Not a bad poker room. Very ugly inside with the neon green, but I just checked my track record here. I'm over three, I think, so I'm down 400 in this room. I'm not going to be greedy. It's almost three in the morning, so I just want to make a little bit of money, head out, and uh, see what we could do. Alright, wish me luck. All right, I played about 32 minutes here at West Palm Kennel Club. Um, kind of a, uh, oh, it is late, it's late night, so it's kind of an odd table. Um, players are kind of coming in and out within those 30 minutes, but um, was able to piece together a $300 win in 32 minutes. So I'll take it, pretty good action. Um, I only bought in about 200 and um, I had one of the highest stacks at the table just buying in 200 because everybody's been playing all night, whatever, whatever. But long story short, I end up um, beating one guy with a pair of sixes. I kind of knew he was bluffing. Um, not, not for much, maybe like 50, 60 bucks, something like that. But then um, very next hand, I get ace king and he raises the 25. Another guy pushes all in for like 30. Another guy goes all in for like 40. So I said, screw it, I'll, I'll make the call since I have everybody kind of covered. And sure enough, I hit the ace on the flop and it was good enough to hold up. The guy who I beat with the pocket sixes the hand before, he ended up showing um, pocket queens. Um, so he actually had a decent hand that time so worked out so not, not bad uh three three hundred and thirty two minutes take it take the win time versus money right all right Let's see if we can find another place that's still open it's uh pushing four o'clock now Simro Casino, Coconut Creek. Um, I think I've been, I know I've been here, but I think I've been here and played here two or three times. I think I did okay, I really don't remember, I have to check. But um, hopefully they got some kind of game going on. It is a little past 4 a.m. Um, this will probably be my last stop for the night before uh, actually trying to settle down. Um, so we'll see how we do here. Um, 
everything planned. I'm two for two so far for the night. So I don't want to get too greedy. If I get up a hundred bucks, I'll probably be happy with that. Um, and I'm not gonna play any longer than an hour. So let's see what we can do. Just walked into uh, Simona Pokerone. Again, it's like 4.15 a.m. Um, they got me on a table, but the table they are putting me on, there's like a huge argument going on. I don't know what happened. Sounds like some player's card got mucked accidentally, and he is up and cussing out the whole table. And they're like in the middle of calling security, so. We'll see. Um, I would record it, but again, it's four in the morning and there's only like three tables going, so it's very obvious. But yeah, so let's see what happens. All right, we're leaving uh, Seminole Creek, Coconut Creek. Took a loss. I could not catch up. Not catch up. I could not catch cards. Save my life. Sun's coming up. I uh, think the only hand I won is that I won in blind pre-flop with my last sixty dollars, and I actually hit a straight with like three callers which put me up to 150 but I bought in 300 finally started getting some uh, some decent cards had pocket sevens this guy sat down his first hand he sits down and raises $25 and he only has like 125 so I uh, go ahead and shove with my pocket sevens hoping uh, you know he folds Sure enough, he has pocket aces. So, I lost. Uh, so, pretty much lost my profit from uh, Kennel Club, West Palm Kennel Club. So, still up for the trip heading south, uh, 2 230, 250, something like that. So, can't, can't complain too much. But, uh, uh, just, just frustrated. Anyway. Here I am at the Magic City Poker Room. Sorry, I'm super tired. I'm bad in my eyes. They added a basketball court in the middle of what used to be the old dog track. As a basketball fan, that is super cool. Happy to see that. Um, it's one of my favorite poker rooms in South Florida. I mean, obviously being a Miami Heat fan and still being the finals, even though we're losing, it's still the finals, game five tonight. 
um, all the dealers are wearing Miami Heat gear, which is so cool to see the support. Um, this room has a lot of action. Um, it's kind of slow today. I played about a little over an hour. Uh, came up about 2.30. So it's not bad money for an hour. Time versus money is what I always say. But um, I don't know. I just wanted to show the addition of the new court. I think that's really cool. I was talking to one of the security guys about it. And he said they just wanted to get something out there because it's ugly. But uh, it's kind of a nice scenery now. So I don't know. I don't know if they let people play on there or what. But it's pretty cool. I can't zoom in. Here we are at the Mikasuki Resort. We're gonna play a little one-two, just join the waiting list. Uh, so far on the trip, uh, three for four so far, so not too bad. Um, hoping we can make a little bit of money here today. The goal is um, 150, 200 in less than an hour. Anything like that, I'll be happy. Alright, so I'm at Harrah's uh, Pompano Beach. Last time I was here, it was um, Islesworth. Harrah's bought it and they were in the middle of actually re-felting the tables to get the new logo and stuff. So it's kind of exciting to be here. Probably get a new chip because I got new chips since last time I was here. But um, I've only played here twice. And both times I remember being up really early and then gave it back on some weird hands not proud of myself so today I just kind of want to walk out of here with the win um, been in South Florida for a week started off really good on my way down here felt pretty good and then uh, started taking a couple buddies to go play poker this week and it kind of just backfired and just stayed there longer than I want to and all that other stuff but um, uh, this what happens when you're with your friends I guess you can't can't stay disciplined sometimes, but all that to say, I'm damn near even for the week. I think I'm up 50 bucks. <laughs> so, making my way back home, I don't know how many rooms I'll stop at it besides this one, but I figure I just want to get out of here with the positive. So, we'll see. We'll see how we do. Pretty cool vibe in this room. They did host the WSOP earlier this year so I like the way it uh the way it looks. Alright, wish me luck. Alright, we're leaving Harrah's right now. Played uh right about an hour and we made three forty. Not bad at all. I gave a little bit back at the end just looking at uh looking at the flop. I should have made one more call. The guy next to me went all in with 75. I had ace nine. Um, I knew he was frustrated, but um, I don't know. I just didn't want to risk it, I guess. Another guy calls him. One flips over queen, queen. The other flips over nine, nine. And uh, flat came out. Ace, king, eight. Uh, long story short, I would have won. But uh, I'll take a the three 340 win in an hour that's not bad at all so uh, yeah success here all right it's two in the morning i'm leaving west palm beach kennel club not quite 
the session I wanted, but um, we're able to pull out a $55 profit. Um, kind of a crazy session for me. First table I was at, very slow, no real action at all. Ended up um, losing my original buy-in for 200. I was kind of committed to leaving since I still got a three hour drive. And then I decided I'm gonna buy back in and try to just grind it out. Um, that table was a little bit more action packed. Uh, got my money in where I could, whatever, but ended up losing a couple hands. I'm down to $50. And I'm chasing the king high flush. One guy goes all in, another guy goes all in. And um, the guy to my right who went all in, uh, I, I missed my flush, missed my flush out in the river. But the guy to my right told me he had the straight. So I, uh, I believed him. I stood up, I'm walking out the, out the, around from the table because I'm in the corner seat and the dealer stops me that the guy actually had a nine high so he had a four card straight and he didn't even realize it so he had nothing and my king actually held up as the higher card because the other guy missed his flush too so put me back in the game I had about 150 at that point and um, again I got a three hour drive whatever whatever um, one guy raises 30, another guy calls the 30. I look down, I got pocket aches, and um, I'm like, screw it, I'm just gonna go all in. Whatever happens, happens. I, I gotta get out of here, I got a long drive. Um, first guy calls me, other guy folds, and actually, both guys called me, but the other one didn't have that much money. But anyway, the first guy called me with pocket aces, flop comes out, eight, eight something ace something so i flopped quads he turned a aces full of eights full house um fortunately there's no uh no high hand this late at night at west palm which is odd especially for a friday night but whatever that hand put me up a little bit so i decided just to take the 50 dollars profit it's five dollar profit so Made 400 on my way home from Miami, so it's not bad. Take the win.